Hi everyone and welcome to Learning Good. This is the Cedar Rapids Public Library Dungeons and Dragons game played for you by library employees. Why would we do this? Well, not only is Dungeons and Dragons hilarious to play and to watch, it is also educational. D&D teaches critical thinking, problem solving, creative storytelling, and teamwork. It's a great way to interact with people in your home and you don't need much except your imagination. As you watch, let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help you get started. Finally, while appropriate for all ages, this program is intended for teens and adults. My name is Molly. I will be your dungeon master for this game. My name is MJ and I will be playing Shepard. I am Jacob and I'll be playing Elias. My name is Kevin and I will be playing Grunt. The white horse, Stella's diamond tiara. Did it get loose? Maybe. <laughs> oh, we're all dead. You're dead too. I'm dead. You're dead. We're all dead. It's going to be a party, a dead party. That was not the party you promised us earlier, and you, Pinky, promised. <laughs> oh, it won't matter. And you said, you, oh my gosh, and you said that you met. Your Highness on the road. Oh no. Oh no. He knows. He knows Stella's diamond tiara is gone. Oh. They, no. More and more it just sounds like we should just kill the fifty and then we would be done with this. I mean, or we could leave. We've oh, been here a little while. We do do that sometimes. This is a bad city and we don't need to be here. Don't leave me. Additionally, the horses aren't gone. They, they're around. They're just Captain, think of it as a vacation. Just... We can find you a new grandma. No. <laughs> <laughs> that thinks about it for a second. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't often do this. I am a, I am a proud man. And I try to handle things on my own. I tried to be strong, and he chokes up a little bit. But I need your help. Please help me get these horses back. We will do it, it seems for the sad again. Points. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't like it when you're sad, Capitan. Kind of makes me sad <laughs> on the inside, where my feelings are. <laughs> I don't really feel too many emotions, but when people are sad, they are far less effective and useful. So it would be better for you to be not sad. I will assist in this. I don't like these horses, but you don't seem terrible. If, if the horses are in cages, they're not going to hurt as many people. Correct. Agreed. For All Captain right. Stan. So you'll help me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Now what? Okay. Well then, we need to stop at the stable. It's just past the paddocks, and we'll collect all the things that we need. Namely, we need rope. Okay. Excellent. The other thing that we need, we need some carrots. And the other thing that we might need. Hmm. We might need some special horse perfume to cloak our scent. I don't have any of that on hand though at the stable. So maybe maybe we'll need to find some. Oh wait, maybe you already he sniffs the air. You might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, the only other thing I can think of, we've got our rope, we've got our carrots. We need to have our horse whistle. That's the third thing, the third thing. What is a horse whistle? Basically, it's like a pan flute that, that makes horse sounds. So that's a, that's, that's a neat whistle. Yeah, so it's like, he, he pulls one out of his pocket and he goes, no, 
<laughs> is this whistle enchanted? I, I'm like <laughs> the magical horse whistle. It's made with real horses. <laughs> Uh, an Ampheo special <laughs> instrument that we've developed over the centuries. <laughs> My grandmother's the only one who knows how to make them, though. <laughs> so, so she's very important to me. <laughs> he says very seriously. <laughs> um, so, is is your grandmother important to you because she's your grandmother, or because she's able to make these flutes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go to the stables. And you said, okay. We need to catch how many horses you said? So A baker's seven, dozen. Seven black and white, is that correct? Or seven brown um, and white? Seven brown and white, I, th I believe five black, and then the diamond tiara, I guess. Stella's diamond tiara. She will definitely be the hardest to find, even though she's the horses Who here names have these very horses? confusing names. <laughs> As do some of the people. Stella's diamond tiara is the most important horse in all of Faerun. I don't under I don't know if you know. She is descended from unicorns. Just. Her bloodline, impeccable. So Unicorns much money. Unicorns can have horses? Apparently. <laughs> I'm not the horse man. Is she as mean as the big house. fluffy one? <laughs> she's, she's the white one. Is she as mean as the big fluffy one? Oh, is she mean? No, Stella's diamond tiara is wild. She's got a wild streak, but she is not mean, just... I don't believe you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I am visibly limping still, by the way. <laughs> so far, all the horses have been pretty mean. <laughs> well, they're not used to such um, handling, I would say. So let's go to the stable. Uh, he opens the big stable door, and there are ropes hanging on the wall. And he hands you each, let's say, five ropes. And they're just like lasso ropes with some. I'm trying to think of another word for rope. They're just like lassos with some rope on the end. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then he tosses you each some carrots, a bundle of carrots. And then each of you get one of the special Amphail horse whistles. I'm going to start Yay. eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grunt's eating a carrot. Shepard is trying out. These the aren't as good as the donuts. <laughs> and they are vegetables, so probably not. I'm going to look into one of the uh, fields that has horses in it and just kind of like play the, the, the flute a little bit, try to get their attention. <clears throat> I, but you have to play the flute. <laughs> well, you right. Can, okay. I will give you an option. You can either play you can either play the horse whistle or you can do a performance check. I was just going to play the horse whistle to see if I got a reaction from the horses. I know. See, okay. Do you want to do a performance <laughs> roll? Because I'm not going to play. No, on no, it. you got to make the sound. <laughs> oh. You got to play, the, play the Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of playfully running it across my, my mouse. It goes. <laughs> it's a very horse whistle. Um, the, horses, the horses look up at you. And uh, I'll narrate their thoughts again. What is that sound? That was awful. What was that? Who made that sound? Which of you I... is the worst sound maker? And those are the horse's thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so from an outside perspective, do they visibly react at all? Only one of them lifts their head. <laughs> That was not good horse whistling. The captain, um, the captain puts the flute to his mouth and says, there's an art to it, a science. You have to like actually mimic their sounds. You can't just blow into it and hope for the best. And he puts the whistle do to his mouth. Do we need to go to college for this? 
No, it's just, it, it's something you learn by being a horse person. And he puts the, the whistle to his mouth. Nay. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the horses immediately look up and kind of come over to the gate where Captain feeds each of them a carrot. And you said you weren't a horse person. <laughs> I have lived in Amphil my whole life. So I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> you have our condolences. All right, we're well equipped. Let's get on the move. How do you think we should go about doing this? I thought we were just catching the horses. There are many horses to catch, though, so we have to have a plan of action. Well, you are the horse person, as you just said. What is the best way to catch horses? That is not my area of expertise. That's a fair, fair thing to say. Uh, first off, you are not familiar to the horses, so probably it's best to sneak up on them. After you've sneaked up on them, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to throw the rope around their neck or try and get their attention with the horse whistle. Once you've done that, feed them a carrot and they'll follow you back to the stable. Sound simple enough? Sure. Maybe. We'll now, which, not yeah. very many steps. <laughs> <laughs> which of you thinks that you would be the uh, the best at sneaking? I already snuck up to a horse once today. How did that work? Is, and it stepped on me. Ah, yes. Okay. Good. I mean, I'm I'm decent at it. I mean, I did grow up in the woods for you know like 16 years or so. So you know. All right. I keep all my years. joints oiled regularly so they do not squeak. <laughs> Elias, you and I, we're going after the white and the black horse. The white horse and the black horses. Now, Shepherd and Grunt, I'm going to send you after the brown and white spotted horses. They're generally nicer and easier to catch. So, I like nicer. Do they need to be alive when we bring them back? The horses? Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. So many rules. Shepherd. I could hit them with my hammer and they'd be much easier to carry. That is true, but don't do that. The more horses that don't come back alive, the less likely it is that we'll stay alive. So let's try and keep that no, I do like being alive. Elias, you and I for sure have to keep all of our horses alive. <coughs> They're the most important. But Stella's diamond tiara is the most important of all. Because unicorn blood. Correct. Right. Right. All right. Makes Off we go. Uh, so I'll let, let's do some rolls for Grunt and Shepherd first. As we are rolling, what I will have you do is I'll have you narrate your rolls, essentially. So if you do well, narrate how you, how you do that. And if you don't do well, then narrate how that. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, good. We're going to be good. Good, good, good. Okay, um, so the spotted brown and white horses seem to have all congregated in a pretty close knit area, which could be good if you do well at your sneaking, or it could be really terrible if you do poorly at your sneaking. So, uh, who would like to attempt? Before we go, I am going to uh, cast Bless on both of us. Ooh, what does that do? It, uh, when you make an attack roll or a saving throw, which this isn't going to help with, but I'm real dumb and don't know that, uh, you can add a d4 <laughs> to the attack roll or saving throw. <laughs> but I feel like blessing us would be a good thing to do as we're being good. Okay. It That's also only good. lasts a minute, so it's fine. Okay. But I, I feel as if I am being good when I do that. All right, so I had rolled prematurely. I'm assuming you're going to let me do a reroll because we yeah, haven't I'm actually done anything yet. Yep. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try to be stealthy and stealth up to the horses. And this die is going to be better this time. Yes, okay, that is much better. Um, that is a 19 total. Ooh, okay. Wow. I actually rolled a 19 as well, if Ooh, we're working sweet. together, since they're in together in a group. 
Okay, so I'll let you guys narrate how you are going to stoke up to these horses. Just uh, like have a conversation amongst yourselves or however you want to do that. They're right there. They're all right there. Do you think we can get them all at once? Yes, of course. Oh, how, how should we do that? I will go around that side. You go around okay. that side. And then Perfect. we catch them. I like they it. Can't, because if they run away from you, they'll run towards me. And if they run away from me, they'll run towards you. Should we, should we do the flute thing or should we do the rope thing? I suggest we sneak. And then when we are upon them, we just rope them. Because the flute thing seems complicated. I'm very, I thought Elias' really flute bad at work music. was really good. And apparently too. it was not. <laughs> it sounded good to me. It sounded like a horse to me. Mm -hmm. But it was not good. So I will right. put a little extra so I... oil on my joints. I am extra quiet and stealthy. I'm going to crouch down to at least like 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> so do I go that way and you go that way? Or I go that way and you go that way? You go that way. Okay. I'm going to wait for you to start moving in that direction so I know you're going there. And then I will go the other way. <laughs> And, and this looks like those videos of the cats going through all of like the makeup and bottles on the ground as I'm trying to walk through and not step on <laughs> branches and under branches. Like I'm, it, it's a comical exaggeration of being stealthy, but it weirdly seems to work. Okay. And I'm moving yeah. along with slow programmed movements. Okay, so when you pick to use the ropes instead of the wheel, you are going to roll for animal handling. Worked so well oh. last time. I actually have decent animal handling. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, yes. Uh, that is a 23. That's the same roll as I did when I tried to hug the horse. That's a fair <laughs> one. <laughs> Good thing we're buddies. <sighs> okay. So, I need to know, you're trying to catch them all at once, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you intend to do that with the rope? Are you, like, w using four lassos at a time? How is that going? I'm a robot. I'm going to assume that I can, like, program my fingers to move in different directions so that I can have four lassos at the same time. Okay. That's fine. So, that means that Grunt has to do three lassos. Correct? <laughs> oh, yeah, but legit, we didn't think this through. No. Or just like <laughs> hug all the horses with rope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I am probably holding all three lassos open in a circle all together. <laughs> you really just want, I just want to hug you. Okay. Uh, so, Shepard, you're, yes, you are able to catch all four of your horses, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they kind of whinny and neigh a little bit mm -hmm. at first, and then they chill out, and they just kind of walk over to you. Yeah. I forget that I am a druid. <laughs> I am good with animals. <laughs> yeah, you did it. I have a plus four animal handling. <laughs> I have a plus as well, and I've rolled consecutive threes on animal handling checks. Check what my spells are. I forgot that. <laughs> spells. Who needs them? Okay. Uh, and then Grunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you are um trying real hard and you swing those lassos round and round and <laughs> well, I'll I'll just say you don't catch any and you can tell me what happens. <laughs> I assume that as I continue with my stealthiness, I get up really close to these horses that I, I because of who their owner is uh, and making the logical leap that they are also large and well-groomed and attractive and probably fluffy and <clears throat> slightly uh, just inherently pompous. Um, but I, I 
kind of pause for a minute as I get up close to them because I shift from gotta catch the horses, gotta catch the horses, gotta catch the horses to just like, oh, it's so fluffy. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably, and I make I make a noise that is not what you would expect out of a six eight half orc. Uh, it's a bit of a preteen squeal, um, and they start to move real quick once they see who's standing there. Um, and I just sort of like throw the bundle of rope, um, okay. and it works. It works uh, as well as you would imagine. Okay. Um, yeah, as soon as the rope hits the ground and they start running in every direction, I'm gonna panic, as you do, because I kind of glance over and see uh, the robot with just four horses gathered around around it eating carrots happily in mind of just three directions taken off. Um, and I'm going to grab the whistle out of my pocket oh, okay. and, and, and just blow into one. So I'm not even going to look at what it, like how it works, just grab it and blow into it and hope. Okay. Roll a performance check for me. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh no. <laughs> it's a uh, boring, it's 13. Okay. All right. Well, that's not awful. Uh, so you make the sounds out of the flute and there's just enough of all of the sounds that it doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> just enough. Um, and one of the horses comes back to sniff you and it even puts its head, its little muzzle into your hand and kind of, kind of nuzzles against you. Okay. And I, I grab the half-eaten carrot that I had started on and, and offer it to it. That's really sweet. It eats it, but then it kind of pushes it back to you. <laughs> and I look at it and take a bite, too. And now you're best friend. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Here's the question. While all this is going down, I've got my four horses. Uh, Grunt has one. <laughs> the two other horses that ran off, can I cast Entangle? Oh yeah, you can do that. Because it's a ninety feet, ninety feet range, ninety foot range, um, mm -hmm. and it creates grasping weeds and vines in a twenty foot square. Okay. Starting from any point within range, so I'm gonna try to get both of them, assuming okay. they're kind of running together. Um. So a couple things happen. Your first thing that happens is that terrain turns into difficult terrain, so that does slow them down. Mm -hmm. Or horses. And second thing that happens is they must uh, succeed on a strength saving throw or they are restrained by the plants. Okay. So basically, <laughs> natural lasso. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to check the DC on that real quick. Uh, DC is 14. Oh, no. They're fine. You're, you're good. They're entangled. One of them actually is so entangled that it falls down to the ground. Oh. <laughs> and it is maybe possibly injured. Oh, crap. This should not cause any damage. This is not lethal. It's not your fault. It's all the horse's fault. <laughs> all right. Just, it's a clumsy horse. It rolled a one. Hopefully 50 agrees. <laughs> I'm going to bring my, my four horses that I have lassoed over to the two that are entangled and inspect them, offer them carrots. Okay. Check them out. Okay. Um, you I see... Have... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. You, uh, you see that the horses, the one that did fall down... Um, its nose got a little scraped up, but otherwise it is okay. And they are... I like that when I found it. <laughs> <laughs> and they are warming up to you because you gave them carrots. All right, and I'm going to ask for uh, Grunt's other ropes to grab these guys, too. Yeah, I really sheepishly pick them up off the ground and give all three of them and ask you to put it around the horse that's next to me, too. <laughs> Shepard goes to put the lasso around the horse that's next to Grunt. Uh, it shies away from Shepard and goes back to Grunt. Aww. Okay. I just give it a big hug and uh, does it have any sort of reins or anything like that or is it completely... Nope. That's fine. I just put my hand on the side of its neck and we walk along together. Okay. I love that. Okay. So you guys can head back to the stable. Good job. You caught your horses. Go team! <laughs> If you want, after you take your horses to the stable, uh, I'll tell you when, but you might, if like, 
it's been a while and i'll give you a little cue if yep. elias and captain have been off for too long so that you can rejoin the party okay but i'll give you a cue yep. when that time happens also uh just because uh this is what i would definitely do um as the horse that i'm walking with my new best friend who i like horses now starts to make any sort of neighing, whinnying sounds, I'm going to use uh, thaumaturgy just repeatedly to mimic the sound back. Oh, that's so cute! So Way I'll cast it, I'll cast it that it yeah. sits right, the point is right in front of my mouth so it looks like I'm making the noise and we'll, we'll talk back and forth in horse. That's the best. Captain and Elias are going to go off and try and find the five black horses and what will probably happen, team, is that when it comes time to try and get Stella's diamond tiara, that's when I'll call you all in. Okay. Uh, so, Elias, you and Captain are walking off in the direction of the black horses right now. So we have to catch okay. five. So tell me about all of you people. Why, are, why did you uh, stumble upon this town or what have you? We just kind of mosey from place to place, you know, uh, doing, doing, doing stuff. Uh, We're doing different stuff now, though, which is a neat change of pace. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do. I, uh, you know, I had my doubts about you to start with, but I do appreciate the help in this, this matter. And catching these horses. Are we heading into a forest right now, by the way, as we're chatting? Okay. Um, I am going to say that, like, because I have, that's my favorite terrain as a, so I'm going to kind of say that, like, I immediately, like, my eyes narrow and I just kind of, like, go into this sort of, like, uh, very kind of serious, sort of, like, focused, like, mode. You like tracking mode. Um, Right. It, well, yeah. Yeah. Basically, just kind of just get quiet and kind of start like slinking down and being more careful in footsteps and things like that. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. So I had had my doubts, but um, starting to warm up to you guys. That's that's fair to say. I mean, I wouldn't have expected this kind of help from anyone else in town. Not even not even the people of the town. So I uh, thank have you. you. Tried asking. Yes, of course. You're still on thin ice. The rest of them are fine. <laughs> Thank you for, for that. I, I appreciate that now. We, uh, we see three of the black horses together. So let me pull up Captain's sheet here. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's good. OK, um, so same rules apply here. Uh, we need to roll stealth first. And then whether or not we want to do lassos or flute whistle. Um, lassos is animal handling, flute whistle is performance. So hmm. uh, Captain is going to go for one of them. And he's, let's see how sneaky he is. Oh, oh, he's real sneaky. You got a 16. How'd you do, Elias? I got a 20. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're both very sneaky, and we sneak up to our horses. Elias, you're going for two. Captain is going for one. So should we try and lasso them, or should we try and whistle for them? Hmm. Well, in my head, like a lasso is not entirely different from, you know, like shooting a bow and arrow. It still requires a sort of understanding of where things are going, but the it doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Um. Hold on. Maybe a small audible. Um. Is it possible for me to use disguise stealth and become a horse? What? <laughs> what? I, I have I have disguise self, and so um, I'm wondering if maybe if maybe the captain, like, becomes my back end, like in one of those like Halloween costumes. I use disguise self. And I also have speak with animals, so I can just become, you know, a horse. And then we can just kind of maybe convince them that maybe it's time to go home. Yep. Yep, we can do that. <laughs> yep. Uh, so... <laughs> so 
how do we how do you want to go about that elias how do you want to are you asking okay. me to the horse butt is that what i heard uh, yes yes i'm going to need you to crouch down because i need to be physical they, they'll be able to tell trust me they're horses they're they're very very keen creatures oh. they, they they know a lot so if you just like get down like maybe feet and hands on the floor and just kind of carefully walk with me i think we can probably get through this all right the captain uh bends down on his hands and knees <laughs> <laughs> oh this is the oh, ultimate God. sign of trust right here just saying if this goes wrong somebody's ending up in jail or maybe dead i don't know i mean I, I'm sure this will work. I mean, I've never done it before, but I feel very strongly that this will go just fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I will cast Disguise Self and Speak with Animals. Are those slots or are they? I think they're slots, yeah. So I'll use those and then we'll just kind of slowly kind of, in the way that we can, trot over and uh, I kind of wander up to one of the uh, black horses and. What's up? Oh, okay. Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. So Elias is going to be the one talking to the animals. Um, I am going to make the captain roll performance to make sure that he can keep up being the horse tushy. So one moment. Oh, he's, oh, that was a good roll. Okay. So he's still, he's still with you. That's good. Uh, so Elias, you're talking to the horses now. And the horses respond. That's not how we speak. You are different from us. I, this one is different. They not start, that different. They start getting visibly more agitated. It smells not the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I. <laughs> You did this. You did this. I, I, I know. Okay. <laughs> no, I am different from you because I didn't newly, you know, I kind of pretend to smell the air. I didn't come from some human storage. Are you, in, are you insulting us? <laughs> we will not be insulted, says one of the other ones. Show us your merit newcomer what do you mean merit i don't owe you anything unless and then is there a way for me to magically like shove a carrot like from my visage into my mouth <laughs> what like it's just like pop there's a carrot like that's that's like a magic trick to impress them how would you do that do you have how a, would i do that yeah like how do you have a spell or or you're like you're saying you would break for a second the illusion that you're a horse to pop the carrot out? No, I'm wondering like how the magic works. Cause I mean, I don't have, like my arms, horses don't have that. And I've got two feet and Capitan's back there. I guess I'm questioning, I'm, I'm thinking about the, the spell. Oh, so you, right now you, you feel that you have two hands free. Okay, okay, I see what. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. As to why the captain had to get on all fours. <laughs> That's um, <laughs> mm -hmm. very important. So <laughs> this horse anatomy is wrong. <laughs> I, do a oh, hand. I could play it as a minotaur, like voila. No, I don't like it. Okay, uh, the horses are visibly getting like scared and skittish, and they're. they're I'm, go I'm doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> there is something wrong with this one. We must flee. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> um, kind of rounded myself into a corner here. Uh, <laughs> Can we try and save it still? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Grunt's like, no. No, you can't. <laughs> there, there's, there's no. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say, uh, never mind, and uh, grab a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Call an audible. <laughs> Do you dispel the magic somehow and then 
Or are you going to? Well, stay I assume a I. I'm assuming I'm going to stay a horse. Like they're already skittish. Okay. I mean, what? Well, I don't know. Okay. 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 Uh. So. Okay. <laughs> so the horses see this. They see this horse's oh, neck no. open up, and arms come out of it that are human. That grab ropes and then try to lasso them with these grotesque human arms that have now come out of this horse neck area. This is just the most horrible, horrifying thing I've ever even thought about. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then the horses think, no, we will run now. And they run away. <laughs> so I can't even get a lasso off? <laughs> <laughs> they were already ready to run. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, Grunt and Shepard, do you want to make... I'm going to say insight. Do you want to make insight <laughs> if you feel a disturbance in the horse force? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, so here's here's something that's interesting that I can maybe do. I have a spell that's called Locate Animals or Plants. Oh, okay. Uh, describe or name a specific kind of beast or plant. So in this case, the black horses that you guys were chasing after. I concentrate on the voice of nature in my surroundings and learn the direction and distance to the closest creature or plant of that kind within five miles, if any are present. So I'm okay. going to feel like it's been a while. We've been chilling here with our horses and nothing is happening and I'm getting a little concerned. So I'm going to step outside of the stables for a moment and try to use my, my animal senses to see if I can okay. sense where they're at. I'm not paying any attention. I'm just chilling with my new BFF. So Shepard, you can only sense one animal though at a time? Oh, uh, it just says any kind. So I think it just tells me any kind of that, like one kind at a time. Let me nice. read it again. Uh, but da, 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 da. Oh, okay, so it is the closest one of that kind. Okay, so closest right. one. So you are going to sense one of the three that Elias and the captain are working with, and you know that they are on the move. Okay, I'm going to call out to Grunt and say, the, the horses Elias and the captain are trying to capture are still on the move. Perhaps they require our assistance. I mean, we're really good at catching horses, so they probably could use us. All right, so I'm going to grab some more lassos because, well, I guess I'll take the lassos off now that our horses are paddocked and restock on carrots and head on out in the direction of that one horse. I grab the flute because I'm much better at the flute. Okay. should just <laughs> use your thaumaturgy to be honest. The, the horse that you befriended, Grant, is following you out of the stable. That's fair. It seems like it's gonna stay with you though, so you don't need to worry about it running away. Yep, nope, we're, uh, we have an understanding. Us. <laughs> might, it might. It doesn't take you very long to get to the location of what can only be described as the most heinous thing that's ever happened <laughs> in nature, uh, <laughs> where there seems to be a, a very strange thing happening. Uh, and that is, that there is a, a black horse. I assume that you transformed into one that looked like them. So a black horse uh, that has a few too many legs, it seems. And <laughs> it seems like, like things are falling apart here. Uh, two human <laughs> hands, a gaping open neck, and its horse head is sprawled back, looking towards the sky. <laughs> Elias did it again, they, didn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna assume that we've seen Elias mess with magic before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna straight up ignore that and look for the horse. At this point, I'm like, all right, you messed up. It's time for us to take over. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so Elias. Do you drop the spell, or does it break? I mean, I would drop it. Like, after that, I just kind of, like, just, ah. Uh, okay. Someday. Okay. Uh, so the captain stands up from the ground and kind of dusts himself off. 
well, that was something that I've never seen before. <laughs> right? <laughs> So from where we are, can we see the three horses? Are they still running away? What's the... Since you guys, I assume that you got there fairly quickly because I am thinking that you probably did the magic before maybe they transformed. And so you see them running off in the distance. Are they um, within 90 probably, They're probably like, I don't know, probably like 50 yards ahead. So what's math? I don't know what that is. Feet. 50 yep. feet. <laughs> now. Hmm. That's far. All right. <laughs> Who's got the horse whistle? <laughs> well, I, I cast, I cast uh, Thaumaturgy again. I can go out 30 feet in front of me, but uh it re it originates from a point within that 30 feet uh but can is then radiates out from there and do the most recent sound that my friend has made here next to me i don't know if it's going to go another 100 feet to get to him but i'm going to cast it and hope that it calms them down a little bit okay okay um Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so they all seem to visibly, from where you're standing, they all seem to visibly kind of change their tempo, I guess. Like their running kind of calms down. They're still galloping, but it's more like a casual, oh, this is a nice stroll rather than, oh my God, what did I just see? Mm -hmm. It seems to be working. Do it again. <laughs> I'm going to start walking toward them with the horse. Okay. Um, just not a, a good clip of a walk because I got a long leg span, but not aggressive or running. Just kind of power, you know, Olympic power walking toward them. Um, and it kind of going back in reverse order. It's a cantrip, so I can cast it a bunch and it doesn't take any. I can do it every six seconds as an action, essentially. Um, okay. And just kind of like going reverse order of the conversation the horse and I have had. Uh, just making various, very realistic horse sounds out 30 feet in front of me as we just move toward them in obvious, perfect, natural harmony. Um, the captain looks at Shepard. When did he learn how to do that? We forgot certain abilities that we had, but we are now using them. And it has been most helpful. <laughs> this could have come in handy. Oh, I had no idea I could do it with the horse stuff. I've only ever used it to, like, rob people. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> the horse sound specifically is new, but we, he has made sounds before. <laughs> he is a very good sound maker. Uh, so, Grunt, you are moving towards the horses. Yep. They are all very happy with you, and so they all kind of come around you, and you have, like, a little circle. <laughs> That's it. I, the, the look on my face can be described uh, nothing different than like euphoric at this point. Just so giant who would have called it that you would all go around like, me. A horse terrified slash horse fading to like the man of horses. But this I is a heck of an That's the title. Grunt. Man of horses. <laughs> I mean, it's the third worst name you've come up with today. So. <laughs> All right. So I just, I just, just, just pet from one to the other around me. It could, I could not look any happier. And we kind of turn and walk back to the group. Um, I kind of get there and I'm like, does, does this help at all? That'll do. That'll do. We are still missing some of the black horses, though. Do you think your new friends can find the others in their group? Do any? I of don't you... know what they say. I just talk back to them. Do any of you know maybe him how to speak with animals in an appropriate manner? <laughs> I think Hard I did great. <laughs> Oh wait, I can. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, I, like I have wild shape, I have speech of the woods, I forgot all this stuff. All right, I can speak animal. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, I can speak with fae and beasts, 
so I'm going to just go ahead and say, greetings, new friends. Could we perhaps get your assistance in locating the rest of your party? The horses look to each other and then look at Grunt. This is our new friend. We would like to stay with him. Uh, he would like to stay with you, I'm sure, and I'm going to nod at Grunt, even though I'm seeking horse, so IDK, if you can hear me. Um, nope, can't, but I will <laughs> nod. Um, but we would like for the rest of your group to join us so they can also be friends and have carrots. Would you happen to know which way they went? The horses all kind of look at each other, the black ones especially. The brown and white one is still much more infatuated with Grunt than the other horses. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them kind of, one of the black ones kind of steps forward and does a little hoof point <laughs> in the direction. So it's like, there. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> okay, um, that's fine. So the they point off into the direction that would be north, east, northeast. All right, I'm gonna communicate that to the rest of the party. So it appears that the rest of the black horses are due northeast from here. Um, Grunt, you seem to be particularly gifted in this area. If you would like to take lead, and we can move in that direction. All one right. The, oh, what? One of the black horses comes up to Shepherd and kind of nudges Shepherd, mm -hmm. uh, maybe indicating that it's okay if you if you need a, a ride to the yeah. next. <laughs> I'm going to start by saying, oh, I apologize. I have not given you payment for your assistance. And I'm going to pull out a carrot and give it to the horse. <laughs> there, that should settle the deal. I take a bite of four different carrots and then offer it to the four horses that are around me. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> the captain swings up onto uh, one of the black horses, right? There's three and one of the three. and So there should be enough. Yes. Yeah, there should be four horses total. Yep. And, but Grunt, are you going to ride on your horse? No, I don't want to hurt the horse. I will run next to the horse. Uh, but I'm also going to pat Elias on the head, just a friendly way to make sure that the horses know that he's okay too. <laughs> yeah, I'll hop onto the horse that I gave the carrot to, and I will say, another carrot for your transportation services. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, so the horses guide you the way that you need to go, um, and as you come up over a hill, you wait, hold on, where's my map here? Ugh, stop going, not zoomed in. Oh, the map is here, where is Waterdeep? And then we go from Waterdeep over here, there it is, Oop, okay. So, let me get my little laser pointer here. I asked for a laser pointer, thank you. So you guys are leaving here and you're headed over towards the little hill area. And uh, as you crest these hills, you see the other two black horses. Okay. I'm going to ask the horse that I'm on if its two missing companions have names that they prefer to be called by. Speaking horse to it? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the horse replies with uh, horse sounds that translate into, oh god, MJ. <laughs> Just going to make you do all the names today. Oh, and they've all got to be atrocious because they're all named by 50. To be fair, I asked what they preferred to be called by, so they could have their own separate names. I know. Uh, so the horse, the horse name that, the horse answers in horse sounds uh, and then says, however, we are, uh, that particular horse is called Janet Sunset Firelight. And the other is called the other is called horse sounds 
that would not be able to be translated into human and then says but is called Francis Wind of Mercy. Your human has a very strange taste in names. <laughs> they are horse names, says the horse. <laughs> I suppose the or, horse wouldn't necessarily know what constitutes weird in right. common. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to call out for them, you think that would bring them closer or spook them further? It will come to us. All right, I'm gonna start calling then the them. Horse, then the horse that uh, Shepherd is riding makes a, just a pleasant little horse sound, like a little, mm -hmm. and the other two kind of run over. So it's really easy, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna call out two in, in horse. Uh, Janet, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> they both they both come over and stand near Shepherd. Um, Captain looks up from his horse and says, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, maybe this was going to be the end of the road for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring out my, my bag of carrots and say, all right, well, payment for you as well. Here you go. One carrot for each. <laughs> I take a Appreciate bite of two more services. and hold them out. <laughs> this is a thing that horses do, evidently. <laughs> Now there is one last of you, uh, your companion Stella. Did you happen to see which way she went? There's silence among the horse community. <laughs> is that a no? <laughs> Are you not friends with uh, the Tiara horse? Stella is not one of us. Stella is different. Fair enough. Would you be willing to assist us in recovering Stella or are you not friends? Stella will not care if we're there or not. She is indifferent to you? Yes. Okay, well, as long as she is not uh, upset by you, I suppose you can continue traveling with us, and I will do my best to locate her, and I will try to cast, again, the locate animals. Um, I have one more spell slot of that left. All right. So I'm going to try to cast that and look for the specific type of horse that is Stella. And I'm hoping that there are not multiples of that in the area. <laughs> Quasi unicorns? We can hope that. <laughs> it's like 50 of them. Oh, crap. Which one's Stella? <laughs> well, get, time to get more rope. <laughs> okay. So you cast that. And what you get from it is that Stella, being a quasi-unicorn, um, is much quicker than the others. Were you raising your hand? No, I was just, I'm, I'm... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to miss something. Uh, she's, much, she's much quicker than the other horses and seems to have run off much farther than they could have. And so you guys are right around in here with your herd. And Shepard, you sense that Stella has made it clear over almost to the edge of this forest okay. somehow, which is incredible because it's more than a day's run. Mm. Oh. I will, I will just leave my cursor there so you can yeah. around the map a little. I sense the horse is further than we could generally travel within a day. And this poses a strange problem. Should we head back with the horses we have found or press on until the tiara horse is found? The captain sighs heavily. Well, if we get the others back, there might be a way that we could tell a little white lie and then we would be able to find Stella another day perhaps. You seem a sound of judgment thus far, Captain. If you believe that is possible, I defer to you. Shall we return the horses to their paddock? Well, let's return all of them except the ones we're riding. We might, we might need to use their speed. So, everybody's in agreement? Seems like it. Yeah. As long as I don't have to leave this horse anywhere anytime soon, then I'm good. <laughs> okay. 
so you head back to the stable and when you when you reach the stable there is a man standing there not our new friend your highness um i'm gonna go ahead and sharing now hold on a second uh not your friend your highness uh but someone else you have not met before new person yay people yay people uh so this person is wearing a very stern face i said it's a man yes did I say it was a man? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. Uh, and he has his arms crossed like this. He is much smaller than any of you. Um, if you remember Jim, he's, he's equivalent to Jim size. Jim mm. was the one that ran to get the guards when you first arrived. I remember <laughs> Jim. Yeah. <laughs> right. So this person is equivalent to Jim size. Um, He's, wearing, he's kind of sharply dressed, uh, just like a vest buttoned down, um, bloomer pants, not like, you know, the ones that come down to just past your knee, and then you have the high socks, and then you got, he has little fancy shoes that have buckles. So, there you go. But he's very angry looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, Albert, hi. We were just um, on a stroll. <laughs> with these horses the captain says yeah i'm gonna just like take a cue from the captain and say yes stroll was nice horses are back hello just well, taking the horses out for a... <laughs> what what elias oh i was just gonna say just letting the horses out to stretch their legs what do you think they do all day they stretch their legs. Now, as the accountant to your highness, I need to account for these horses. And what do you think I found when I brought my checklist? I found missing horses. How do you make, how do you think that makes me feel? Well, the hmm? horses are here, so I think that makes you a bad accountant. Fine. Parade them in front of me so I can check them off my list. Go, go. Okay. Yes. Can you not just see them now? Do, do you Get have a, a visual impairment? Captain, Captain, who are these people? Who are these people? What did I say? I said, put them back in their pins. I will count them as you do. Is Captain saying anything at all or just like... The Captain just <laughs> takes his pen and is dismounting from his horse. All right, I'll follow suit. Okay. Uh, I'm not Captain moving. Captain dismounts from his horse and leads it into the paddock. Good. Check one black horse. Anyone else? It has a name. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow suit. I'll go ahead. <laughs> okay. Check two black horses. And I'll go back for the two that don't have riders. Ah, good. Three and four black horses. That's uh, Francis and Janet. Of course, yes. I see that here. <laughs> I suppose I'll dismount mine or just kind of let it go through. Ah, and five black horses. Fantastic. And I see that the other, the f brown and white horses have all been returned except one. I just stare back. A long, unbroken <laughs> silence is... The horse is there. It's, it's you right there. It? I... Coming to one isn't hard. Go. Send it back. <laughs> Captain, this man is stealing a horse. I feel that he it's, should be arrested. He's not stealing a horse. He refuses to return it. Well, I mean... You are thinking of returned? the horse as if it were an object. It is. Property. That horse has a name. Does it? it? Has wants and desires, and it wants to be with Grunt. I then, feel that you are being very disrespectful to these horses. We're a horse Grunt, person, you should know better. <laughs> if Grunt wants to keep the horse, Grunt can pay the price for the horse. The horse is property to be bought and sold. 
Well, that seems very rude to the horse. I paid the horse in carrots, and the horse seemed very amenable to that. (laughs) So I'm going to go ahead and, like, grab the carrots that I had from before and just kind of offer them to the accountant for the horse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. And I'm going to turn to the horse and say in horse language, uh, what do you think? Do you think this is a fair exchange? We, We will give you, well, we will leave this amount of carrots, and you can stay with Grunt. This horse sounds a little bit different than all the other horses. And it goes, I want to stay with Grunt. There, we all agree. And I'll revert back to common. We all agreed. The horse accepts our terms. Uh, it sounds like everything is settled. No, everything is not settled. This horse must be returned. It was bought and paid for. It has a bloodline. It is time for it to go home. All right, well, I just spoke to the horse and the horse said it agreed to come with us instead. Captain, that. Captain, please arrest these people. The captain kind of looks at Grunt. Grunt, you have to put the horse back. That kind of sounds like we're kid- you're kidnapping the horse. Mm-hmm. I yes. say to the accountant. <laughs> as, as Shepard and Elias are talking to the accountant, Captain comes over to Grunt and says, it's just for now. Are you sure? I pinky promise. Ooh, Different pinkies? I trust you. <laughs> You're gonna run out of pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all you got. Next is gonna be like ring finger promise. <laughs> yes. I do thaumaturgy one more time. It's a very sad horse whinny right next to the horse's ear. Very quiet. Only it can hear it. And then I walk Aww. it back to its to its paddock. Perfect. Now, it seems that we're missing one white horse. Now, where is it? I'm going to look at the captain because he said he had this. So, (laughs) Albert, Albert, buddy, friend, friend. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, let's not mince words here. Uh, Stella's diamond tiara is taking a bath. <laughs> Starting to have a lot of doubts in the captain. <laughs> <laughs> this fine group of uh, travelers are uh, they're horse groomers. Yes, that's why the horses were so reluctant to leave them. So that is. Um, that's where we're at, and so Stella is getting all fancy. Yeah. Right, guys? I mean, deception, I feel like, comes relatively naturally to this group, so. Right. <laughs> I'm going to immediately, like, assume the, the role of horse groomer. <laughs> well, yes, of course, a horse of that qu- uh, caliber requires only the finest kind of attention and should be cared for separate from the other horses, lest its beauty be marred. That's, that's right. And uh, this trio here have traveled far and wide, only grooming the best horses. In fact, uh, we should be paying them mountains of gold for this service. Mountains, heaps. We do it out of our love for horses, because we love horses very much. So, so you see, Albert, Stella will be returned soon. In yeah. better condition than she was found. Honestly, you should employ a better groomer. What do you say? <laughs> okay. All right. Finger guns. <laughs> Captain's trademark. Well, <laughs> <Can't think you. laughs> <laughs> 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 that Stella was due to be groomed soon, and that way we had. Uh, we were going to send her off over to uh, Miramar, so this is perfect. I'm glad you were able to make it. Uh, and we'll talk to the mayor about your payment later. Now, uh, let's let's discuss, though, what treatments that Stella's getting. What exactly are you uh, doing for her? I'm afraid a lot of it would likely go over your head, as I am using special nature magics and rituals that allow 
for the best care of the beautiful pearly sheen on Stella's back and the yeah. luster of her hair. Uh, I apologize, I cannot describe this to you more in depth, but I am afraid it is something that non-groomers would not truly understand. Could you please, um, could you please roll persuasion? Ah, Can I do deception? It's like, is it deception or is it persuasion at this point? I think. I mean, I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. Deception. do deception. Because my my persuasion is a plus zero. You're like, my I deception is a plus two. So, okay. come on, die. Don't let me down. All right, eighteen. Oh, perfect. Oh, that does sound fancy. To be hmm. fair, I do look like a very strange robot with very strange knowledge and mm-hmm. access all, right. to all sorts of and things. It, These two I'm going to go like, ahead. Oh. What do you do? So, I so. smile and nod a lot. I know better than to say a word. The is uh, a very secretive process. We must do it out of respect for the special creature that is Stella. So my companions assist in making sure that we are not interrupted by any unnecessary uh, other creatures or beings in the process, as it is very crucial that no one see Stella when she is being groomed. It would oh, be of the utmost disrespect, and she would be most offended. Oh, I see. So these are basically the bodyguards. No wonder they are not as eloquently spoken as you. But do you not see their great strength and might? I do. It seems very strengthy and mighty. So, all right. I will just mark this down as Stella being groomed. Uh, when do you expect, what's the timeline for getting her back, do you think? Well, we must, at the end of the day, defer to what Stella thinks is best. As, as you know, she has unicorn blood and is a very special creature. We would not want to rush her before she is ready. Otherwise, it will be shown in her uh, in her coat, and that would just not do. Ah. So we oh, would like to know. have her, uh, we will try to convince her to, to give up her rest and relaxation uh, by the end of tomorrow, but we will have to do as, as she requests to ensure that she is looking at uh, her finest as the uh, pearl of this horse town. <laughs> Very well. And is there anything you require from me before you head out? <laughs> I have a lot of temptations in my head, but for now I'm going to say, uh, I suppose I will defer to my companions. Is there anything you require to do your job? <laughs> I don't like this dude. I'm not talking to him. Mm-hmm. Perhaps uh, some more uh, food? That is something you require, yes? You require food? I'm going like, to look at my companions for a sec, because I forget sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I believe they require nourishment to ensure they are uh, strong and prepared to protect the horse. Um, but aside from that, I think we, we are well suited to the job. The captain looks significantly a grunt. Um, Albert, I'm wondering, maybe we might, uh, we might require some horses just in case uh, something oh, yeah. might come up. <laughs> and so it would be better if the bodyguards were well equipped with horses. Right, grunt? That would be very helpful for what we're doing. Right. So I think that uh, that brown and white one maybe might be helpful. And uh, maybe one of the, maybe two or three of the black ones might be also helpful. That way we can access our private area as needed. Right. Right. Albert uh, un goes and erases the check marks next to those horses. Very well. Since you are such prestigious groomers, I will let you have whatever you need. Please come back and see me if you need anything at all. Stella is our top priority. And with that, I I'm think- I'm gonna say with like, as, as like dead a tone as possible. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>